Hello class, this is section 3.5 and we are going to go through an example of a problem using the variation of parameters formula. I will not expect you to memorize this formula. If you need it, you'll be given it in the exam. But here's the typical problem. So we have a non-homogeneous equation here. And the first step is we need to find out what the, the solutions to the homogeneous equation is. So let's uh, look at that. So we need to find y1 and y2. And we find, find those by solving the homogeneous equation. We make our usual substitution. And this gives us our characteristic polynomial, r squared plus r minus 2 equals 0. And you can use the quadratic formula to determine that you have um, 1 plus 8 or 2. So this is either going to be 1 or it's going to be minus 2. So we have our equation. So y1 and y2 are e minus 2x ex. Right, so we have uh, most of the ingredients in our formula. So we have uh, y1, we have y2, we have fx, which is just um, e2x over here. And I suppose that the next thing we need to find is the Ronskian. So let's do that. The Ronskian of y1 and y2 is just going to be the determinant of this matrix. So we have uh, y1 is e minus 2x, y2 is ex. The derivative of y1 is minus 2e minus 2x. The derivative of y2 is ex. And this is just going to be e minus 2x times ex minus ex times minus 2e minus 2x. So our Ronskian is just going to be 3e minus x. Right, so we have Ronskian. We have y1, we have y2, we have fx. And so we look at the formula and we plug everything in. And according to our VOP formula, the particular solution for the non-homogeneous equation is going to be minus e minus 2x, y1 integral of y2, which is going to be ex times fx over Ronskin, which is 3e minus x dx plus this time y2 integral of y1 times fx over Ronskin, which is 3e minus x dx. Both these integrals have a lot of exponentials, so they should be pretty easy to solve. We can move the one third over here, and this is just going to be e4x dx plus ex. This e2x and e minus 2x cancels out, and what we're left with, we put a 3 here too, it's just ex dx. And this is fairly straightforward to integrate. We then have minus e minus 2x over 3 times e4x over 4 plus ex over 3 times ex. So our particular solution is just going to be e2x over 12, sorry, minus e2x over 12 plus e2x over 3, which is going to be e2x over 4. So remember, this is our particular solution, not our general solution. To add our, to get our general solution, we're going to have to add the general solution for the homogeneous equation. So the general solution homogeneous equation is going to be CY1 plus CU2. So the general solution is just going to be the particular solution plus the solution for the homogeneous equation, this one. And that's just going to be C. 
plus c1 y1 plus c2 y2 and plugging in for y1 and y2 we just get c1 times e minus 2x plus c2 ex and this is our general solution.